Hey, what's up everybody, this is Ro. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can better organize your Vapor projects by using controller objects. When you're first starting to learn Vapor, you might be tempted to put all of your routes in main.swift. But if you keep doing this, it'll eventually end up a cluttered mess. A better practice is to store the routes for your app into a centralized controller class. And that's what we'll be doing in this screencast. Let's dive in. I have a Vapor project here that has a simple model class and is configured to store this model in a database. Right now, you can see that my main.swift is cluttered with all kinds of test routes. Let's see how we can clean this up by creating a controller object. First, let's create a new file to store our controller object, and let's regenerate our Vapor project. Now let's open up basic-controller.swift, import Vapor, HTTP, and my database provider, and create a plain old Swift class. Now let's open main.swift. My goal here is to move all of these routes into my new controller class. Let's start with this one here that just returns the database version. I'll copy the code here and switch back to my controller. Before, the code was in an inline closure, and now I want to put the code inside a method. To do this, I need to give the full method signature. Basically, it takes a request, it can throw, and it returns a response representable. Inside the method, I'll just paste the method body. Now I need to create a method to register this route. Let's start simple and add the route the exact same way that we did before. Now we'll go back to main.swift and delete the previous code. In its place, I'll create the basic controller and call its add routes method. If I build and run and go to the slash version URL, it works. Let's repeat this for the next route that creates a test object and returns it as JSON. I'll just copy the body, create a new method, and then paste it in. I'll also register this route the same way as before. Now I can go back to main.swift, delete the old code, and build and run, and it works as expected. Often when you create a controller object like this, it's handy to group your routes together into a single path to keep things organized. For example, maybe I want all of the routes in this controller to begin with slash basic. So it would be slash basic slash version for the first and slash basic slash model for the second. You could add the word basic before every single route, but Vapor actually provides an easier way through a method called grouped. I can create a new route with the drop.grouped passing in the parent path. Then I can create routes with that group and they'll all be prefixed with basic. If I build and run, notice that the routes now all begin with basic. You can simply repeat this process to clean up the rest of main.swift. However, to save time, I'll do this offline. And nice, all the methods are now in my controller and my main.swift is nice and clean. All right, that's everything I'd like to cover in this screencast. At this point, you should understand how to refactor all of your routes out of main.swift into a controller class and how to keep your routes organized with groups. If you think about it, at this point, you could create a controller that provides a RESTful interface for your acronym objects, just based on everything you've learned so far. But it turns out that this is such a common requirement that Vapor provides a shortcut to do this, and that's what we'll be focusing on in the next screencast. I hope that this screencast has helped you better control your app's architecture. I'm out.